I'm going to show you how you make an AI agent that can remember all your documents with Supabase and Postgres in three minutes or less. Let's get into it. So first, what you want to do is go and make a Supabase account, add a password and create that real fast. It's going to ask you to make a project password. All you want to do is take that project password and copy it. From here, you want to hit memory, hit Postgres chat memory. And from here, you want to create a new credential. Now in Supabase, you want to go to this right here and hit connect. After this, you want to change the connection string to PSQL. Then you want to go down to transaction pooler. Then you want to look for this little string right here and you want to copy and paste it back into NAN. You're going to put it in your host. For user, you want to get, get Postgres, the word at the very end here. You copy and paste this as well. Put this back into NAN to put in your user right here you want to put in the password that you put in for your project password and then for port you just want to find this little number that you have and put this into port 6543 now that we have everything in there we can hit save all right so it connection was successful we're good to go now we want to go here at a super base vector store node so for this credential all we want to do is go to data api see this url here we want to copy this url put this for the host all right, so now we want to go to API keys from here, go down to service role secret, reveal and copy that, put this for your service role secret, you can hit save. All right, everything was connected successfully. We have to get an SQL code, screenshot this right here. You're gonna copy this, put it over into your SQL editor. Everything looks good, you hit run, and it's going to create the files that you need in the table editor. So to set it up with your Google Drive, you want to just open a Google Drive, hit download a file. After you do that, you want to connect a Supabase store. You want to add documents to a vector store. You want to add documents. From here, we add the betting model. From here, we want to put a default data loader. We also have to make sure to set up binary right here for the default data loader. You want to put a recursive text character splitter and look for anything that you want to find to put in your vector database. For right now, I will just put this inspection document right here. And we're going to test this workflow from here. So to go through, download the file, put it through Supabase Vector Store, and automatically chunk it all in there and make embeddings for everything. The agent will look through, use Supabase Vector Store, and give you the output after looking through everything. There we go. And I can see it shows everything that we have from that inspection document that we just put in there. And this is a really great way to set up a rag for yourself in your AI agents.